The weird shark pins are coming first. Eek! It swallowed my favorite fish! The shark pins are actually not as horrifying and disgusting as the real ones. Draw a leaf-shaped shark head on the cardboard. Add fins. Take three main colors, yellow, blue, and red. You will also need white. Mix the proper shade to paint a tiger shark. Add the distinctive spots and an eye. Paint a wooden clothespin in the same color. Cut out the shark across the length. Add some multi-purpose glue to the pin. Attach each shark part to the different pin half. Make one more shark of another shade. The decorative shark pins will keep your notes safe in their strong jaws. What a pretty pair of sharks you've got! I love weird accessories! In this video, we'll make a funny liquid bookmark shaped like a fat red cat. We'll need red, white, and orange cardstock. Patterns from the attachment to this tutorial. Red knitting yarn, white glue, and green soft soap. A small plastic zipper bag, and a white plastic cup. Make the basic details. Start with an orange body. Trace the pattern. Cut it out. Make an oval-shaped hole in the belly. Cut out other pattern details. Make two fishes from the plastic cup. Trace the pattern. Cut out with the nail scissors. Prick an eye with the needle. Make another fish a bit smaller. Put all the elements together. Add small details like pupils and a nose. Glue red triangles into the ears. Attach front and hind paws. Attach the red belly edge onto the back. Cut out white whiskers. Draw a mouth with a marker. Attach the whiskers. Glue a tail on the side. Cut out a piece of red yarn for a bookmark. Make a pom-pom by wrapping the yarn around two fingers. Tuck the yarn end between the fingers. Pull it up on the other side. Tie several knots. Cut out the coils with the scissors. Snip off the pom-pom to make it neat. Fan with the scissors. Complete making the cat belly. Put the fishes into the plastic bag. Pour in the soft soap. Zip the bag. Hot glue the zipper to hold better. Place the fish bag on the cat's belly. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the corners of the bag. Attach the pom-pom yarn on top. Be careful to cut out the hole in the back side of the cat to make the fish bag transparent. Attach the back to the front. Use a hot glue gun. Align the edges. Let's look at what we've made. Cool! The amusing cat-shaped liquid bookmark will both help find the right page and cheer you up on a rainy day. 
In this tutorial, we'll make a kawaii pencil case shaped as an ice cream bar. Start by making a cardboard base. Trace a glass of an appropriate diameter. We'll need a semicircle. Draw two parallel lines to define the case size. Before you continue, check if it fits your stationery. The pencil case we're going to craft is 8 inches by 4 inches. Cut off the excess cardboard on one side. Use a ruler to fold up the other side to get a double-sided detail. Cut it out. Round the top. The cardstock base is ready. Place it on a piece of thick felt. Cut off the excess. Add hot glue across the edge. Attach the fabric to the base. Snip off the corner. Continue gluing. To make it neat on the round top, fold up the felt to cut off the excess. Hot glue the edge. Repeat the step. Pull up, snip off, and hot glue the fabric little by little. We've prepared a 14 inch long zipper. Hot glue the zipper to the case. When you finish gluing one side, unzip and attach the other one. Leave some space for an ice cream stick. Cut it out from a small cardboard square. It fits well. Cover both sides with the felt. Hot glue the stick to the case. Continue attaching the zipper. Cover the inside with pale pink felt. Cut out the detail fitting the open case. Attach it to the base. Check how it works. Okay, continue decorating the case. Let's make a chocolate shell topping. Take brown felt. Define the size. Cut it out. This is it. To look more realistic, make the bottom wavy. Cut it out. See how it fits the ice cream. Perfect! Attach the topping. Add some sprinkles. Cut them out from the multicolor felt stripes. Hot glue the sprinkles randomly. Now, let's animate the ice cream. Cut out black felt eyes. Make white pupils and reflected light. Add rosy cheeks and a smile. The face is ready. Attach it to the pencil case. Put in pens and pencils. Perfect! The Kawaii Pencil Case is very convenient as it will keep safe your stationery and protect it from scattering over your backpack. Wow! What a pretty little ice cream stick! No, it's a pink eraser in a weird holder! We'll need an oval-shaped pink eraser. You can use another suitable shape and color. Take an ice cream stick. Apply a thick coat of the hot glue to the eraser. Rotate it to cover the bottom. Attach to the stick. Take the eraser off the hardened glue. Paint it white. Add sprinkles. Paint them with a thin brush. It looks like white chocolate. Put the eraser back. The little fruit ice cream will easily erase the pencil traces. It looks cute and delicious. Do you think ice cream bookmarks sound too weird? No way! Let's prove it! Cut out ice cream pictures. You can buy them in a supply store or print them out yourself. Hot glue a colored elastic band.
Attach the picture to the seam. The funny ice cream bookmarks can be ready in a few minutes. Use them to save the right page. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a notebook quickly and easily and cover it with a cute handmade scrapbook paper. Take several A4 paper sheets. The number of pages depends on your wish and hole puncher size. Fold the paper in half. You can crease the folds with a ruler. Put the sheets inside each other to form a notebook. We'll need a hole puncher for the next step. Put the folded paper into the puncher to make semicircle holes on the crease. Open the notebook to make sure all the pages have been punched. When the notebook is closed, the pages protrude unevenly. Let's correct it. Underlay a cutting board. Use a metal ruler and a craft knife to cut down the pages. You can smooth the cut edges with a nail file of fine sandpaper. Fasten the pages with thread. If you use a thin thread, fold it in half for extra strength. Pass the thread through the holes from inside. Take it out, pulling up well. Tie a knot. Cut off the excess thread. Now, let's make scrapbook paper for a cover. Take thick paper of A4 size and watercolors. Use a paper piece for a palette. Keep in mind water and a soft brush. Choose a simple repeating element. Dip a brush into crimson pink and paint small rosebuds with three different brush strokes. Add shades with blue color and water. Take more water to get vague, foggy images. Use less water and more color to get bright, sharp outlines. Paint green stems. Let them dry. Now, we'll attach the cover to the notebook. Squeeze a bit of white glue onto a piece of paper to make the job easier. Fold the patterned paper in half. Put the notebook into the cover. Add the glue to the first page. Use a brush. Close the notebook. Smooth and press over to attach the cover. Repeat for the other side. We have covered this awesome simple notebook with handmade scrapbook paper, which can be used in other scrapbooking and card making ideas. And now we continue making fabulous DIY school supplies. Let's make amusing origami bookmarks. Make a yellow five inch by five inch square. Fold the diagonal to make a triangle. Fold the corners to the center point. Open up the triangle. Fold the top flap to the middle of the crease. Take the right corner and tuck it into the middle pocket. Repeat for the other side. Make the identical gray detail. Decorate the yellow bookmark with the patterned paper. Trace, cut out, and attach. Embellish the gray bookmark with the green paper. Glue it inside. Cut out a white stripe. Draw pointy monster teeth and attach. Cut out green eyes. Glue them together with white parts. Define the pupils.
Just attach your pretty monster on the corner of the page you want to save, and it will keep holding it tightly in its sharp teeth. Join us and subscribe to the Trim Trim channel. You'll find plenty of awesome school supply ideas to meet any taste. Click the bell to be the first to watch a new video.